video we're going to talk about dead weight loss, but recall from our previous video when we were talking about total surplus, all dead weight loss is is when we cannot get the largest amount of total surplus possible. So total surplus, recall, is the difference between creating a large benefit, and we think of benefit as the most somebody's willing to pay for something, and we can get the idea of how much people value or how much people will benefit from things by looking at the demand curve. And we look at the cost of providing things by the marginal cost curve. So how much additional cost is there in producing something? Surplus is just the difference between the benefit and the cost. Benefit and the cost. Benefit and the cost. Benefit and the cost. And if we add up all the differences between the benefit of something and the cost of producing something, we call that surplus. So the total amount of surplus is a triangle between the benefit and the cost. So we can think about it as the area of this yellow triangle here, and we could certainly calculate the area of that yellow triangle. Now, we can also, often, what we will do is we will divide the total surplus into some of it that goes to producers, so that would be this orange triangle. Call that producer surplus which is the difference between the price that people pay the producer and the cost of producing the good, the marginal cost of producing each unit, right? So that would be the producer surplus. And we could talk about the consumer surplus, this pink triangle here, which would be the difference between the value the consumer gets from each unit of the good and the price they have to pay for each unit of the good. Here, the equilibrium price being $8 per unit. Now, we could divide it up that way. Usually it's a little bit easier just to talk about the total surplus. So let's just think about this yellow triangle, right? And just so, so no one says we're skipping anything, we could also calculate the total revenue, which is price times quantity. Five, five units times $8 here would be 40. And we could calculate the total revenue, which is this purple trapezoid which is the area under the marginal cost curve, or the supply curve. We're just adding up how much it costs to make each individual unit, and when we add all those up, we call that the variable cost. Okay, but let's just focus on this total surplus, the yellow triangle there. Dead weight loss is when, for some reason, we don't get the, to the, the largest amount of total surplus possible. Now, what are some things that might cause that? Well, one simple thing that could cause that is if for some reason we don't produce enough of this product. In this market, we see that the demand and the supply, the equilibrium here, is at five units. So if something caused us to not be able to produce five units, that could create a dead weight loss. Simple example would be, what if the firm had just produced, businesses had just produced three units, and all of a sudden, the government declared a ban and said, you are not allowed to produce any more of these units. You have to stop at three. Well, then that would cause us not to get as much surplus as is possible, right? We would only get surplus for and again, it's easier to, instead of think about, thinking about one, two, or three units, let's think about this as one, two, or three million units, right? So we would get the surplus from the first million units here, and the second million units, and the third and million units, but then we'd have to stop. And so the total surplus we would get would be limited, not to the entire yellow triangle, but to this green shape. It's like a triangle, but with its nose chopped off here, right? So in that kind of case, there's going to be a dead weight loss. We want to create as much total surplus as possible, where we have high benefits and low costs. You know, anytime we have a, a benefit higher than the cost, that's surplus. But in this case, we're not going to be able to get that total surplus to be as big as possible. And we're going to have this shape over here, this little black triangle is surplus we could have had 
but we will not be able to create. And that is what we call a dead weight loss. So dead weight loss is simply surplus that we cannot get, surplus that is not created because we are not able to produce or take, take advantage of all the opportunities we have for creating benefits that are larger than the costs. All right, so that's the dead weight loss there. And in this case, we could just calculate the dead weight loss as the area of this black triangle. Now, it's a bit hard to see exactly where that is because I chose such a fat pin here. But let's get rid of a little bit of this color so we can tell exactly where that dead weight loss would be. Let me use a little bit thinner pin here so we can see a little bit better what that is. Okay, now that I've cleaned this up a little bit, we can see that that black triangle that we're talking about, using a much more precise pin here, it's going to be the area of this triangle, and the area of any triangle is one-half times base times height. And here we can think about the base as being this bottom or left side, right, if we turn this triangle over. And we can see that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the base. And then the height is between 3 and 5 down here, 3, 4, 5. So that's 2. So 1 half times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 2 is going to be just six. Now again, this might be six million dollars in dead weight loss if we were thinking about these units being millions. And again, this is a lost opportunity is the way I think about this. Because of this ban that the government has put in, we have lost the opportunity to provide high benefits for a low cost and so we're giving up $6 million worth of extra benefit over and above the cost that we could have created in this market. So that's one way that you can create dead weight loss in a market is a lost opportunity. You don't take advantage of every opportunity to create surplus where you could have. Now there's another way that you could create a dead weight loss and that is a dead weight loss from overproduction. So you can think about this as a dead weight loss of underproduction. Let's look at a case of dead weight loss from overproduction. So dead weight loss from overproduction is a case like this. We start with the idea that we have already produced five units, right? This is, that's this equilibrium quantity here. And thus, we have taken advantage of all the cases where the benefit provided to people is bigger than the cost, right? So we've taken advantage of all those opportunities, and we should stop at five units, because if we keep going, there are no more opportunities left to provide a high benefit for a low cost. But if we keep producing, then we're going to run into the problem where if we produce these units between five and six million, let's just look at the sixth millionth unit, for example. Here the cost of producing the sixth millionth, six millionth unit is going to be nine dollars and the benefit, in other words, the value, the most anybody would be willing to pay for that unit is only six dollars. And so when the cost is higher than the benefit or the value, we're throwing money away in the garbage. So this is obviously something we're doing that's going to be wasteful and inefficient and damaging. And you can also think about this in terms of deadweight loss. So we've already got this total surplus here that is as large as possible, the yellow triangle, right? We've got this total surplus. If you continue to produce where the cost is bigger than the benefit over here, it's like you're eating into that surplus. You're eating away at that surplus that you had already created. So 
there's another kind of deadweight loss that you can think about, a deadweight loss of overproduction. And this occurs any time you continue to produce something when the cost is bigger than the value or the benefit that anyone would give for this thing. An example of this in my own life recently is I went to visit my son's school and it's a requirement that any child who buys lunch at the school gets a piece of fruit. However, you're, you're kind of forcing, you know, if you ask these students, do they want the piece of fruit? No. Are they going to eat the piece of fruit even after they have it? No. Most of these children do not even touch the fruit. They're, it's maybe less than 1% of the kids I observed actually attempt to take a bite at all out of this, this fruit. It didn't look like it was very good fruit that they were giving them anyway. So somebody was paying a cost for this fruit and the benefit was zero. That's wasteful. And we can think about that as being dead weight loss as well. So in a case where for, for whatever reason, it might be a requirement that we hand people something that they don't really want, there's going to be this cost that's bigger than the benefit there. And so we could consider that dead weight loss. Now, so let's, let's just suppose that the dead weight loss, we weren't creating a huge amount over what people wanted, just 1 million units here, right? We should have stopped at five, instead we go on to six. Then the dead weight loss from overproduction, right? We'd still get this total surplus in the yellow, but we would have to subtract off this dead weight loss of overproduction here, which we could quantify as the area of that little black triangle again as one half times the base. Well, the base here looks like it's one, two, three, and the height is just going to be that one there. So one half times three times one. Here, the dead weight loss would be relatively small, one and a half. But again, this could be one and a half million dollars if we're talking about giving people a million pieces of fruit where it costs more than what people would be willing to pay for it. So this is another way that you can have a dead weight loss. So that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to look at some examples of practical ways that we could create a dead weight loss. And ways that this can happen would be a production quota, like we were looking at before, where the government says you can only produce three units, right? So that's one way to create a, product, a, uh, a dead weight loss. Another would be to set a price ceiling or a price floor that can create a dead weight loss. Or if we have a market where there are positive or negative externalities, that can do it as well. So join me for the next video. And as always, good luck with your studies.